I'm not interested in your rates. My sister is missing, and I hired you to find her, so get to work. Is that your private security firm? Yeah, and I had to pull some cops off the search to handle other crimes. So, yeah, I, I hired private security, but at, at this point, my fear is that Levi's had too much lead time for them to make a difference. Hey, hey, my brother and Dante have been on the case since the moment the girls were taken. You know they'll do anything to find them. No, I know. I'm, I'm sure that they are doing all they can. But it's been too long since the Coast Guard found that swamped boat. Well, the desk sergeant told me that Nathan's on his way back from following up a lead. I'm, I'm sure I'll have good news. The boat was empty. There's no reason to believe Lou and Maxie aren't flying. Got a floater on Pier 12. Floater? No. I don't mean... Body? This is my fault, you know? I went in there after Levi, no backup, no nothing. More like a rookie. You made a judgment call. It's your job. And if it's anything like mine, making it personal is where you get into trouble. But it is personal, though. That's, I, I didn't play this by the book because I wanted to stop Levi before Maxie married him. Why is that? Because she's a good person. She's my friend. Sounds like you think of her as more than a friend. All the money in the world, and my team isn't doing any better than the PCPD. Yeah, but you've doubled the amount of people searching. Look, uh, I know in my heart that Lulu and Max, you're going to come home safely. I, I appreciate you saying that, and for calling me when Max showed up in the ER. I'm so sorry I couldn't get here sooner. I, I couldn't get out of my shift, and I know you were up all night. Yeah. I'm worried. I, I wish you didn't have to go through that alone. I, I wasn't really alone. Brett was with me. Did something happen between you and Maxie? No, 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 no. She was with Levi. We're just roommates. Mm. But you have feelings for her, don't you? It took me a long time to admit it to myself. I don't even know if Maxie feels the same way. I just... I don't want to be too late. I may never get the chance to tell Maxie how I feel about her. We found that veil in okay, the water. Okay, stop. What? Stop. As far as we know, they're still alive. Are you giving up? No, I'm just, I'm trying to face the facts here, all right? Once you cross the 24-hour mark, the chances of a successful recovery you're, you're go down. You're scared, you're scared, I get it. But you know, I think this might be the one time we take a page from our Mutter's handbook. Are you serious? I know, she's, she's borderline psychotic, there's no denying that. But she never backs down from adversity. It's a part of her. And she passed that on to me, which means she passed it on to you too. Give Nemo's off. So, Britt was with you last night? Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's, it's not what you think. Brad needed her out of the apartment for the night. So I told her she could stay in the guest room. It's not big. I don't have plenty of room, right? I mean, that's the only reason I invited stop. her. Stop, stop, stop. It's, it's, uh, you, don't, you don't need to explain. I need to call my grandmother. I need to check on the boys. Thanks for the pep talk. You're welcome. I'll go find Maxie and Lulu. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta check in with Dante. Oh, I got a text from her. I, I can't believe I didn't even notice. Well, there's a lot going on. What does it say? He's following up a lead at the floating rib. My security team and tell them to follow up at the floating rib. Any progress? Well, Dante might have another lead. Elizabeth, thank you. I know Nicholas really appreciates you calling as soon as you found out about Lulu, even though it was so late. You should have seen his face when he heard his sister was in trouble. Really? You want to do this right now? Do <laughs> what right now? By using this tragedy to try to get closer to Nicholas? Trying to catch me off guard by hinting that you were with him last night when I called? I was just trying to make sure there aren't any hard feelings. About what? Nicholas already told me that he invited you to stay in the guest room. Did he also tell you that right when you called, we were about to have sex? 